amazing. Aika vitun kovaa salaa. Torika Games. Loading Arcanum. I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. Options. Music. Sound. Let's put everything. Nope, we want to hear the music actually. I don't know, maybe I should have these a bit higher. Okay. Hello there and welcome to Let's Play Arcanum. Uh, of Steamworks and Magic, was it? It's a very difficult name to remember, but it's Arcanum nonetheless. And this is going to be the new, well, the new Let's Play of like an RPG uh, replacing uh, Dungeon Siege. Hopefully, it's going to be as entertaining as the other one. Uh, I'm sure it will be. This game was recommended to me by. God, the music's still very loud. Um, it's just, just the audio. Okay, better. I can hear myself now. Uh, this game was suggested to me by Variax, and uh, it sounded really interesting. Like this is more story-driven than uh, Dungeon Siege. Like more quest story driven in that sense that you actually have a conversation with people, whereas Dungeon Siege was more about hack and slash. Go retrieve, go kill this monster, and you're done. That was the that was the point of that game. Uh, non, there's going to be monster killing in this one, I'm sure. Uh, let's just look at the options a bit more, because I'm interested. I've never played this game. This is going to be completely blind. Whereas the other one was semi-blind, difficulty, hard, easy, moderate. We'll go with moderate. I'm sure you can change it if if things get too hairy or too easy. Violence filter is off. We all love violence, don't we? Auto attack, I don't know. Auto switch weapons, no. Always run, yeah. I didn't see the point of walking. Real-time combat. Fast turn based, turn based, or real time. We'll go with real time, even though, according to some reviews, uh, the uh, this uh, combat system, the real time combat system, was a bit rushed. So, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. Brightness is fine, I guess. Okay, go on. We'll add, add a bit. Um, text duration, fine. Floats, minimal. Float. I don't know what floats are. Cupboard taunts. Fine. And this is music. Yeah, okay. So, multiplayer. Network. Internet. Hmm, intriguing. Who knows, maybe I'll play with someone on the internet sometime. But we'll be let's playing the actual single player. So, step right in. New game. Do intro. I don't know, did we see the intro? We'll go on, we'll see the intro. Find yourself aboard some Ziffer thingy, which I didn't really get to read. Oh well. I might mute myself over this. Uh, maybe not. There doesn't seem to be any dialogue as such. It's just a flying Zeppelin. I like the black and white sort of old video film quality. Oh no! Are these uh, enemy vessels? What? Oh. Oh. 
He looks ugly. Explosions. Okay, so this. Um, did that? Did one of them actually collide with the engines there, like the propels? That was really poor flying of him. Or did he? And he actually explodes as well, so what just happened? Did they fire back? Or was he just... Were they that poor that they destroyed the place and then they got destroyed themselves? That was quite a spectacular fail. Okay. It's all rubble. Help. Help me, please. I'm here. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, my friend. I haven't got much time. <laughs> You must find the boy. Who? Find the boy and give him back his ring. Now he will know what needs to be done. <laughs> what is this ring? <laughs> now listen, listen to me. We had to do it. Yes, I'm listening. He did unspeakable things to us, and we, we had no choice but to do as he said. And there are so few of us left, but the work is almost finished and then the evil oh, you can't imagine he's coming back to destroy everything everything and everyone please just find the boy <laughs> I will Tell I will him. don't worry I escaped I came back to warn <clears throat> he will know what to do you my friend it's all up to you. Who? What? Oh, well, that was a sudden ending to the to the intro. My phone actually went off there, so I'm, I'll be editing that out. Someone, someone's calling me now, so be right back. <clears throat> Hello, is this working? Yes, it is. You can see the fraps doing its job. Okay, so we've seen the cutscene. It's very intriguing. Well, sort of basic, I guess. Not really expecting that sort of... I don't know. Most games... I'll actually come to think of it. Uh, there is another game that starts in a flying zeppelin sort of thing. And it's called Nox. It's an all, also an RPG. But that's another game. For another time, maybe. <laughs> Pick character, new character. Thank you. I will make my own. Oh, he looks very regal. He looks even more regal. He looks like Holmes. A bushy beard. I think we'll go with the Holmes look. Male, obviously. So wait a minute. Oh, there's different races. Dwarf. Hang on, maybe I should read this first. I actually don't know anything about this, like, uh, character creation and all this is going to be new. And I'll do things completely wrong. Uh, so, we'll not worry about the stats just yet. Uh, humans have no special modifiers to their stats and abilities. Humans are the most populous and distributed race, so f race by far. Having numerous cities and kingdoms uh, throughout the world, uh, they interact with uh, the other races as much as the gnomes, and they interbreed with everything, hence half elves, half ogres, and half orcs. That's gross. <laughs> they interbreed with everything. <laughs> I mean, we just... humans just want to have sex. <laughs> oh well. I guess we're... That's all we think about, I guess. Oh well. Um, carry on. Uh, they are not inherently predisposed towards magic or technology, uh, but they are the front runners in the latest technological race. Uh, being shorter lived than most of the other races, as well as fairly ingenious tinkerers, 
They're probably attracted to the quick return on investment than technology promises. Right. So, that was human, and this is this is dwarf. Uh, the character gains plus one strength, plus one constitution, fifty percent to technological aptitude, and plus two ranks to all their technical skills. Well, uh, the character suffers one charisma and dexterity, and is hampered in throwing spells. Uh, finding that they cost twice as much to cast. Well, dwarves can't do magic then. Dwarven males are short, stocky, bearded people, although very wired and stout for their height. Dwarves tend to be muscular and not fat. They are hardworking, prideful, and focused almost to the point of being humorless. Although most dwarves enjoy a good mead. Dwarves tend to be quick to judge and quick to anger. Dwarves dislike elves, but are respectful to humans and gnomes. Okay. Elf. Uh, gosh, all, all these look very serious. Except maybe him. Uh, come on, we'll look. We'll have a look at him. For now. Uh, race. The character gains plus one. So there was... Oh, well, well there's just enough numbers. Uh, dexterity, willpower, beauty, beauty. Okay, fifteen percent to magical aptitude. So this is like the opposite of a dwarf, in essence. Elves are slender and pale, having natural exotic beauty. Uh, that is the envy of uh, the other races. Elves are a philosophical race. Uh, the dreamers and poets of Arcanum. They prefer to live near forests and rivers, spending their time feasting, singing, and talking. Elves can be rather arrogant to all other races, but they especially disdain dwarves. Right. Uh, well, I can tell that these people are quite... Well, I don't know. Maybe a bit arrogant. Yeah, okay, he, he's got that smug look as well. Um, what are we? Half elf. Uh, uh, plus one dexterity, beauty, uh, five percent magic. So they get uh, they're like a, they get the elf bonuses, but uh, a little less, uh, and they also get the cons as well. In build and appearance, they resemble their human parents more, but uh, some half elves uh, possess the pointed ears and pale, delicate features associated with their elven parents. Half elven personality ranges uh, the entire gamut available to humans and elves. Gamut is enough. Uh, I have never encountered this word before, so. Um, although most of them have a natural bent uh, to their personality and enjoy spending time out of doors, half elves do not come across arrogant. Uh, uh, to other races as, and are generally well liked by everyone. Okay, so they get along with people. They look quite human, actually. Not at all elvish, except for the ears, I guess. These are very like I'm used to the sort of uh, cartoony, but this is like I guess the steampunk. Uh, a look is that sort of uh, more. Uh, uh, 18th century uh, gentleman type thing. <laughs> Certainly here. You can see it. He's a gentleman, at least. I don't know about these others. They look a bit scrawny. <laughs> it's fine art, yes. Uh, the cat. Uh, no. The character gains uh, plus two willpower, two ranks on of haggle and plus 10 to any bad reaction but suffers two point what the hell is a bad reaction <laughs> okay well I guess we'll find uh, find as we proceed in the game it's interesting gnomes are short with very big noses and while not usually overweight uh, they do tend to get pot bellied in later years Gnomes tend to be hardworking people. They are equally at home in cities, underground, or in forests. Since they get along well with most of 
most of the races and because they love wealth. Uh, they tend to be merchants and traders. Like humans, they have little dis uh, predisposition to either magic or technology. Uh, they can use either, but most often they choose to abstain from both. Okay. I see. I thought gnomes would be more technological, but I guess not. They got willpower and haggle and that sort of thing. Uh, Halfling. Uh, the character gains plus two dexterity, two ranks of plowing, one rank of dodge, and plus five percent critical hit chance. But then suffers minus three points of strength. Halflings are short people, smaller even than gnomes and dwarves. They enjoy cooking and eating and tend to be overweight. They do not wear shoes, instead relying on their heavily soled and hair-topped feet. This also means halflings can be very quiet when they want to be. Uh, halflings are quiet, a quiet uh, rustic folk who tend not to dabble in either magic or technology, although nothing inherent prevents them from doing so. They are regarded as lazy by other races, but despite this reputation, they are generally well, well liked. Let's see, what do they look like? Quite stern as well. Yeah, it's very sort of sharp look. Looks a bit like my grandfather. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Half orcs! Hey. You can see they're sort of a bit, a bit of sort of. A Dracula look, I guess you could say. Uh, the character gains plus one constitution and strength, uh, two ranks to both melee and dodge, and an extra 10% poison resistance. But this is two points of beauty and two points of charisma. Half Hawks, I like the way they've put beauty and charisma in separate, like. Oh, they say, where, where's beauty? There it is. Beauty. Beauty and uh, Charisma are separate uh, in uh, most games, like Neverwinter Nights and so on and so forth. They sort of blend together, which makes it sort of difficult in roleplay sense to distinguish uh, a good-looking person who has low self-esteem or just isn't very charismatic from a... a uh, an ug ugly person who's really sort of uh, whose personality sort of is bigger than him uh, but anyway let's read the description where was I half orcs are the pro progeny of orc and human parents usually a male orc and an unwilling female human ah there we go then that explains a lot okay uh, this history makes half orcs a despised segment of the human population. Most half-orcs can pass as full humans, albeit ugly ones, but they usually have some trait that identifies their orcish blood. Upturned nose, hairiness, ha hairiness uh, foul temper, to be careful uh, to the careful observer, and people usually discriminate against them uh, when they discover their uh, race. Half-orcs are uh, quick-tempered and violent like their orcish parent. Some are allowed to control their temper, but this usually means that instead of attacking immediately, they will plot revenge. Yes, they do look that sort. Was that all of them? No, there's half ogres, of course. Uh, plus four strength, 10% uh, extra damage resistance, uh, lose one in beauty, four points of intelligence, and two points of prouding. What is prouding, anyway? Half ogres are uh, half human and half ogre individuals, a seemingly rare combination. They tend to be uh, large and heavy, and thus cannot wear most armor and use certain technological items. In appearance, they resemble, but are not as violent as their orcish parents. Uh, ogreish, sorry, ogreish parents. Uh, they are slow to anger and tend to be gentle with smaller folk, and if acting as as bodyguards, they tend 
uh, they will def defend their charges to the death. Due to their large size, they rarely face open discrimination in human cities. Okay, so. Is that all of them? Let's have a look at what they look like. Very serious looking. Yes, that was all of them. Uh, um, backgrounds. How do you think we'll look at this? Well, there's so many of them. Elven blood. Can you be an ogre with elven blood? It's very weird. Your father is great grandmother. Father's great grandmother was an elf. Gain an increase in magical aptitude, but suffer a slight penalty in all tech skills. Hyperactive. Tough hide. You were born with thick brute. Well, this fits. Thick brutish. Does it, it actually adjust? Okay, I can see the adjustments here then. So normally it would be. Interesting. Okay. You were born with tough brutish skin. Yes, yes. Resistances. Ah, uh, penalty to beauty. Oh well. Well, there's actually there's actually quite a lot of. Okay, you can only be male then. Male ogre. Ah, these are pretty. Ah, oh, these are very pretty. Now I feel like making a female, just because they are so better looking than all the rest. I mean, really, these are beautiful. I look at him. I'll. I'll Take a closer look on my spare time. Hmm, yes. Just for fun. There's actually not that many. You can only be... Hang on. You can be human, elf, half-elf, or half-orc. They're not that bad looking either. A bit stern, maybe. I don't know. They look okay. In my eyes, anyway. I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> I wouldn't buy to be a half-orc male. Though I guess they look human enough. Now then, to pick a race. Um, well, this is a this is going to be a very tough one, <laughs> I think. I sort of normally I like to play humans. Half ogres do seem quite cool, but I think I can relate most to humans or half elves, maybe. Half elves seem cool. I will not have a mustache though. That will not do. This looks the only one I would choose. Uh, elf. No, elf seems a bit too cocky for me. A bit too stuck up for my liking. Dwarf. Mm, I know. I like dwarves in fantasy. I think they're very cool, but I would never play one myself. Uh, human. Of these, the Holmes one was the best. Or, if we're female. Ah. Uh, oh well. She looks like someone's mother, maybe. A bit older. But I'm liking them. A lot. Uh, surprisingly. Uh, realistic, like sort of normal in fantasy, you get these over the top females with. Well, you can see only the face, but still, there would be like sort of a very fierce look or something. I don't know. It's hard to, hard to explain it. I think you know what I mean. But anyway, from human or half elf. Let's see, what, what are the actual differences here? Humans, I think humans can be like everything. Or anything. Uh, they're like the basis of, of the base race, so to speak. And then we can add some fancy backgrounds here. A special person! Oh, we want to be a special person. <laughs> you have suffered cognitive pain damage. Uh, you lack intelligence. So basically I can be the retard. Well, it's nice to have that option, I guess. We could be a special person. I mean, I have nothing against uh, handicapped people. Don't get me wrong. It's just a surprise to have that option in a game. 
especially a well, I I don't know, a role playing game. Why not? You can role play a special person. But you receive more praise when you do good deeds, resulting in better reaction from people. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Professional knife tosser. Well, that's totally different. <laughs> uh, I think I will have to take a look at these options on, like, really extensively. But I would very much like to hear what you guys think. Like, what would be your favourite? What would you pick, or what what you would like me to pick? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with half elf or human, though. So that's just my thoughts. Maybe half ogre. Uh, half orcs didn't really interest me that much, and I'm not one to play little people. So yeah, human, half elf, that sort of thing. I don't think there are any classes as such, or maybe they come later. Next screen. We'll go. And we'll go with next screen. Can we go with next screen? We cannot go with next screen because I haven't chosen a name. Okay. We'll be test. Uh, see what happens. Okay. So here we get uh, all sorts of stats. I picked up dwarf for some reason. Uh, Alignment meter. Interesting. So there's like evil good, neutral. Uh, we can add how many stats? Wait, what? Did I just take something away? No, 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 okay. Yeah, that's just a limit. What is this? Health. So I can increase my health. Oh, okay. So I, I, I know where the points are now. It's five points. Can raise my strength, which uh, raises my health as well, or I can just raise my health, and it raises it uh, by four for each point. Same with uh, fatigue, uh, casting and enc encumbrance, and some damage will reduce fatigue points. Fatigue is based on constitution and willpower. Okay, health is just health. Health is also based on willpower, so willpower gives you both. If I raise willpower, I get both. What does willpower do, though? Okay. The ability to... Uh, actually, let's start from the beginning. Strength. It's physical muscle power. Strength determines how much damage can be inflicted and absorbed. Weapons have ma uh, minimum, a minimum strength to operate them effectively. Yeah, okay. Constitution, the endurance limits of the body. Constitution determines fatigue and resistance to poison and some spells. Dexterity is overall body con coordination. Dexterity affects default ability in more skills than any other stats. Okay, so that's quite important. As physical appearance, beauty affects the initial reaction of people to this character. Intelligence. As mental power, intelligence affects several skills as well as being the limiting factor in the learning of spells and technological skills. Right. Uh, so, spells and technology. Willpower, the ability to resist mental influences. Willpower limits spell casting. Affects haggle and contributes to hit points, fatigue, and certain spell resistances. Perception, the ability to notice surroundings. Perception also affects the ability to use ranged weapons effectively. So, I'm guessing dexterity and perception are the, both sort of the same. Like, you have to combine them to be a ranged person. A uh, ranged uh, archer person. Uh, uh, the sum of personality and charm. Charisma affects the ability to persuade others and change their initial reaction. Right, so there... Uh, hang on. What is this? Skills. Technological disciplines. Okay. Interesting. There's quite a lot of things, actually. Oh, so many things. <laughs> oh, learning all this. Conveyance. Spell. Disarm. Okay. Interesting. Her healing soul. Herbology. Chemistry. Explosives. Gunsmithy. Mechanical. Smithy. Smithy. Uh... 
Okay. Therapeutic. <laughs> Elixir of Persuasion. Well, that's interesting. Uh, thief skills. So I guess there are... I don't know if you have to, like, specialize in one. I, I assume not. Does this... Is this a scroll up and down button? What's this, anyway? Magic tech meter. This scale displays magical technological... Technological aptitude. The higher the needle, the more magical, and the lower the more technological. Okay, so I can only be either one. Auto level schemes. This button will activate the display to available auto auto level schemes. These schemes spend character points automatically. Right. Well, we don't want to do that. Uh, backstab. I'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, pickpocketing again. Prowling. The skill of hiding and moving quite oh okay, so it's so sneaking then. Didn't recognise the word. Um The ability to locate mechanical traps. Yeah. Standard thief skills. Bow Dodge Melee All these are affected by dexterity. So dexterity is very important. <laughs> Let's see. Gambling. Intelligence. Skill and luck of winning at cards, dice, and other games of chance. This skill is dependent upon your intelligence. Haggle. Willpower. Heal. Intelligence again. Okay. Persuasion. Charisma. Uh, repair. Intelligence. No, I sort of expect that there to be, like, another page. I can't do that. Okay, so this is a technological skill, so it goes downwards. But if I... I don't know, these are just technological skills then. How do I level up? Okay. So now I've got two spells, I guess. Unlocking cantrip. Target is unlocked, but not opened. Okay. Disarm. Okay, so you disarm a person of their weapon. There's a whole bunch of spells. Good grief. Shield, force. There's quite a lot of things here. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a closer look. Like if I want to be a caster, what sort of spells would I take? Etc, etc. Although I like playing thieves the most. I think I may be going with that sort of thing. Most likely. Design traps. Lockpicks. A lot of these things actually are ah, mostly just social pickpocket. Well, okay, this is like... Like, most of these skills are just melee consists of the fighter thing. These are your fighter warrior skills. I guess this is as well. Uh, how many points does that take? Uh, I don't get many points then, do I? I think... I think raising these stats... Did I, did I raise any of these? Well, I won't be doing that, most likely. Where did I put my points? Well, whatever. We'll just we'll relevel uh, at some point. Uh, next screen. What does that offer? Items. Okay. Well, there's a, a whole bunch of things I need to uh, pay attention to. Uh, but since I'm not really doing this for real at the moment, because there's so much stuff, and I haven't even decided what race to be. Because um, I want to hear what you guys think of this, of this uh, LP in general. Um, so, uh, I guess right now I should be stopping recording and starting uploading, so that you, I can actually get your answers. This is actually quite a long video, come to think of it, for just a first, imp like, for actually not doing anything. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. Uh, but yeah, that sort of game it is going to be. I think I can make the exception of playing a female, because they're so gorgeous. But we'll see. Let me know. 
in roleplay sense, I would most likely uh, be male, but I, I can think I can get into the mindset of a of a, of a lady. So many things. Anyway, anyway, stopping recording, saying goodbye, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Hello, goodbye. Uh, my name is Big Duke. Tell me what you think. Uh, goodbye. Bye.